This is part of the series Lichens from A to Z, and E is for Avernia pronastri. You have probably smelled Avernia pronastri before, even if you have never heard its name. Known as oak moss, it's a key ingredient in many high-end perfumes, adding earthy, forest-like base notes that give depth and longevity to a fragrance. Oak moss is a pale green, shrubby lichen that grows mainly on the bark of the oaks and other broadleaf trees across Europe, North America and Asia. Its talus is soft with flattened, forked lobes that are greenish on top and whitish underneath. Oak moss has been harvested for decades to supply the fragrance industry. Its natural extract is rich, mossy and slightly leathery, perfect for grounding floral and citrus top notes. However, some components like ethanol and chloroethanol have raised concerns about allergic reactions, prompting stricter regulation in recent years and a shift toward more refined or synthetic alternatives. Historically, oak moss was used medicinally as well. Ancient Greeks supplied it as a decoction or ointment for uterine and fatigue-related conditions. Later, in early modern Europe, it was prescribed for fever and pulmonary issues. Chemically, oak moss is impressive. It produces over 70 secondary metabolites, most notably uznic acid, which has strong antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral properties. Avernic acid, atranarine and other also show promising in antimicrobial and antioxidant effects. Lastly, oak mox is a natural environmental sensor. Because it absorbs nutrients or pollutants directly from the air, it's used to monitor mercury and heavy metal pollution, especially in industrial and urban regions. Its sensitivity makes it a vital tool in assessing air quality and a quiet witness to environmental change. Stay tuned to explore more fascinating lichens.